that Christian flesh and blood, they weren't different people. They were the same people, but they had accepted Christianity as a... These men were trying to build themselves a promised land. A land deep in Siberia, they've been told, would become the world's first Jewish state. They're the founders of Russia's Jewish autonomous region. In the late 1920s, Jews from across the Soviet Union headed to the Russian Far East. They brought their families and set up schools which taught Yiddish and Jewish traditions. It took years of hard labor, but they built themselves a capital city. It's called Birabajan. It's taken us about three hours, but we finally made it to Birabajan's main train station. And it's not difficult to tell that we're in the capital of the Jewish autonomous region. If you're based in Moscow, this is some trip. We traveled 6,000 kilometers and crossed seven time zones to get here. And that was before our final train leg. Once we'd recovered, it was easy to see that we'd come to a place full of character. This is a city that's especially proud of its immigrant past. There are around 200,000 people in the region, and despite the fact that only 2% of them are actually Jewish, I was about to find out that old or young, all of Birabajan shares a love of Jewish culture, and especially music. Monuments celebrating the arts are everywhere, and the sculptors haven't left any doubt about their Jewish connection. Authors are also held in high regard, and right in the center of the city, on a street that bears his name, there's a statue to a particularly important cultural icon. This is the only area in Russia where they still speak and study Yiddish, and where this man's work is still an inspiration. That's Shalom Malehim, probably the most famous Yiddish writer of them all, and it was from his poetry that they got the film and the musical Fiddler on the Roof. And music is at the heart of a cultural program organized by the Jewish Community Center. Alongside its charity work for the city's poor, it puts on shows and sponsors Jewish singing groups. And luckily, I just happened to be passing at the right time to check out the rehearsals of one of Birabajan's most popular quartets. And they kindly invited me to watch them at work. 